In this video, I'm doing a review of the Frenchville Dark Red Notebook. I am not entirely sure that's actually how it's pronounced. This is the label that's come off the cover if you wanted to Google it. I found this one at Spotlight. It's A5 page size. It was on sale. I think it was about 20% off from memory. It was only like six bucks, which is just ridiculously cheap for a Dockery notebook, especially here in Australia. Um, the main reason that I wanted it was a couple actually. It is a hard cover, but it's not that gross fake leather material. It's like a linen cover. Um, I really like the beige. I don't normally go for beige, but it just looks really nice in the linen. They did have some other colors, like a light blue, but just something about them looked a little cheapish, um, so I went for the beige color. It has bright white paper. Now, the paper is quite thin. There's 192 pages, but as you can see, it's not very thick. It's only like one centimeter. I'm not really sure what that is in inches. I will convert it and have all of that linked in the blog post, which will be down below. There is an elastic band if you want to keep everything closed. I've just taken off to film this review. So look at that nice bright white paper. So there is no pre-printed pages at the start or anywhere else throughout the notebook. It's just dark red pages. So if you follow me, you know that I've done quite a few reviews of notebooks like this. And if you're wondering why I keep buying them, uh, one, it's cheap and I have no self-control. And number two, I mainly use them for drafting my bullet journal um, layout ideas. So you can draft a spread um, and you know, do all your rubbing out and make it really messy and everything in one of these cheaper notebooks before you then go and like replicate it in um, a more expensive notebook like the Leutrum or whatever you're using. Uh, the other thing to note, um, if you want to buy a cheap notebook, another good use for them is to do like a master list book where you can use that as like your reference book before you copy across tasks or goals or projects or whatever you're working on into your uh, main notebook. So it's kind of like a scratch draft notebook. Um, it is a 5mm dot grid spacing, which is pretty typical um, of dot grid notebooks. The dots are quite bold. They're a very dark grey, almost bordering on black. Um, so if you prefer faint dots, this probably is not the right notebook for you. Uh, another reason why I use these notebooks for drafting spreads is because there is no page numbers and the time to go and add page numbers to 192 pages is just totally impractical. So that is why I don't really tend to use them for bullet journaling. Um, it's like my main book. And the other reason is this one only has one ribbon bookmark as well. But I do really love the bright white paper and I couldn't resist. It's A5 page size and I have done a pen test of course. Used all the usual ballpoint gel, fine tip pens, stamps and highlighters as well as the friction erasable as well. The paper, as predicted, I mean, for the price of the notebook, it's to be expected. There is a fair bit of ghosting and even some bleed through for the thicker marker pens. If you buy a cheap notebook like this though, and you just use every second page, well, you can kind of avoid that. And it's so cheap, I don't really feel guilty about skipping um, half the pages when you get it for that lower price. And on the back of the highlighters and the stamps, we can see there is some show through as well. Uh, one other thing to note with these cheaper notebooks, sometimes the dot grid alignment is a little bit out. So it might not be terribly obvious in the video, but this one's actually closer to the edge here. And this row of dots is actually a little bit higher. It's more clear if you get a ruler, um, but sometimes the dots placing can be a bit off. It's not too bad throughout this one. And at least the dots aren't right on the edge of the page cut off or anything. There is a bit of a margin, um, which is good because sometimes they'll literally cut half a dot off. On the edge of the page which just clearly is not totally practical. Um, the pages lay flat which is great doesn't matter where I open them in the book they're laying flat on their own. There's no pocket folder um, there's nothing else at the back it's just the dot grid pages. So I do like this notebook the price just cannot get past that it's so cheap and love the bright white pages. So I found this one at Spotlight if you're in Australia. Um, that is it for this review I'll have as always the blog post with all the details page size and all the specs and everything will be linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe as I'm always posting new review videos.